pot. Yeah. It will burn you. So what kind of heater is this? This is a rocket mass. You can come up this way if you want. Yeah. Just try not to step on the silver pipe. Oh man. Is this the conversion of what you're doing over there? Now we're talking. Yeah, this, this is, is actually a, a functional model. Cool. So you can see what's happening. The tank's reading, what, five? We're bringing 120 something degree, 122 degree water. If we hit this pipe here is 190. The last point before it goes out, shooting 82, 83, 85. So what's happening is this is going down to the end, making a 90 and coming back up here. We have 30 foot of pipe. This is this fire was started between 2:30 and 3 this afternoon. And we had that fan on, uh, one, because they were doing some adjustments out there because of the wind, and they forgot they had a big fire going in here and plugged that up, so we had, you know, I love, you know, it's tuck and roll, that kind of time frame. What we're going to be doing next, and this wood's just sitting here, I'm just drying it because it's pretty wet with all the rain. What we're doing next, instead of transferring the water directly in there, we're moving our fish to this first tote, the second tote, we're adding 275 gallons of water, and that's the water we'll be heating. There'll be a pump that connects to the fish tank. When that fish tank drops to a certain temperature, then that other pump will come on, and hopefully that water in there is 120, 130 degrees, and then it'll it'll mix and cycle as it needs to, as it cycles through here. How do you get the exhaust from the from the wood? We're burning to go down instead of up. It's just a design of a rocket mass heater because it is going up into here yeah. and it hits there and burns and, and draws back out here. And what we did, because we're, we're really somewhere right in here, we're at our maximum capacity of pipe for the draw and it was working fine with just a 90 out there until we started getting north wind. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, if you saw the other day, they had to extend it down, yeah. which actually made it worse instead of better. They're thinking to get it down out of the wind, it would help. But it just made it that much more distance for it to go. So what we did is we put a small exhaust fan on there to help force draw so we can outpower the, the breeze that's coming so it doesn't force back up in here. In Michigan, they say you got to go two feet higher than the highest point in the building, and then you got no problem at all ever. Right. Yeah. And what we're sending out is, is mostly CO2 and steam by the time it reburns. And you can see what's happening with the energy. I mean, we're still peaking out 80 degrees there and even here we're 190 at this point. So what will happen if this is started early in the morning this entire surface, all this concrete will absorb that heat hopefully it should radiate, not hopefully, it will radiate back up and help keep the, the fish tank water warm through the next 12 hour cycle when we're not burning so it's just really an efficient use of the wood. Why'd you put the sheetrock up? Why or when? Why? Uh, just to give us an airtight seal. Now what we're going to do is lay uh, fiber cement board on top of this. Okay. And the fiber cement board will help you know, absorb more of the heat and become a, this wall, especially right here. It'll give us some protection. Yeah. I would expect that's pretty hot up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not so bad. 99, 170 there. Yeah, 173. Yeah. 